DSMS, it's Tati. And Anthony, here with your, your October 20th edition of DSMS TV News. Attention all DSMS dance goers, the NJHS of DSMS will be selling refreshments at today's dance. We will have an assortment of candy, chips, as well as soda and cool drinks. Everything is $1. See you at the dance. Monday is the start of our Red Ribbon Spirit Week. To remember to stay drug free, you will be wearing red on Monday. Now to a special announcement from Miss O'Boyle and Mr. Hummer and the birthday. Hey DSMS students, you think you got game? We want to find out. Next week, we are going to have a student versus staff basketball game. That's right, 7th grade and 8th grade. Mr. Hummer, tell us about it. We're going to do this on our half days. Uh, so as you know, on our early release schedules, we have shortened class periods. We're going to shorten them even a little bit more so that we have time at the end and on Wednesday is our early release day. It's going to be staff versus seventh grade. And on Thursday, the second early release day, it's going to be our staff versus, um, versus the eighth grade students. And we'll be doing this in the, in the gym, of course. It'll probably be between about 7, um, 11, 20 uh, to, to noon, mm -hmm. to the noontime dismissal. More details to come. Now you might be wondering how we choose the students who get to play in this game. Uh, so Mr. Hummer and I are going to be doing a live raffle on Monday at lunch during both 7th grade and 8th grade lunch where anybody can sign up to try to get on those teams and then we're going to do a drawing uh, so that it's even. And we're going to have both boys and girls participate in this event. So we want to have lots of folks sign up and then we're going to draw the team names. You and I went to see our 7th and 8th grade boys basketball team compete, so we know that our students can play. Uh, we need our staff to come out too, so students help us out. Convince your teachers to sign up. That sign up is in the teacher's lounge. And make sure that your teachers are signed up to go, especially those who are tall, athletic, versatile, and fun-loving. Right. Not that we're worried about losing, because we all know who's in charge around here. So. That's right. Uh, looking forward to it. We hope to see you sign up on Monday. Hello, dear Smiths. It's Connor. And Jonah with your birthdays. Today's birthdays are... Jade Bernal. Jonathan Napoleo Flock. Morgan Vasilovskis. And the weekend's birthdays are... Jasper Co. Sorry if we pronounced any of your names wrong. And now to... Hey, it's Sarah with your sports. College track and field begins on October 30th. All applications and fees are due on October 30th as well. Thursday is rare sports equinox. What is sports equinox, you might ask? It's when there are games of each four major American sports leagues. There's a Thursday night game in the NFL, three NBA games, nine eight NHL games, and an MLB playoff game, with the Cubs trying to keep their season alive in Game 5 of the NLCs versus the Dodgers. And now back to the game. A video that gives more information about the Autism Walk. Good morning, Desert Shadows. I'm here to talk to you about the Autism Walk. It is a community service opportunity coming up at the end of October. It is on Sunday, October 29th at Tempe Beach Park, and you can sign up to be part of our Desert Shadows team. If you attend the event, and you have to sign up online, if you attend the event on, again, it's Sunday, October 29th, you come out to Tempe Beach Park and you can um, receive three hours of community service for simply completing the walk. It is a 5K, which is about three miles. And if you attend the walk and raise money for our team, um, if you raise at least $150, you will get six hours of community service. And that will be created in the form of a certificate. And I will deliver that certificate to your social studies teacher. Um, upon completion of the walk. If you're interested in signing up to be part of our Desert Shadows team, we're usually the largest school team attending the event, you can go on to the Desert Shadows website or you can go on to my website. I'm Mrs. Hess. I'm in room E27 and right outside my door are some flyers about the walk and how to register and there's also some in the front office. It's free to register. You just sign up, you come on out and we the race starts at 9.30 a.m. And we walk together as a group, and we meet in front of the stage at Tempe Beach Park, and we start the walk together. I hope to see you guys out there, and thank you for supporting the great cause um, for the Autism Walk and SARC and the studies that they do 
to help um, those with autism. Red Ribbon Week starts Monday, October 23rd. Our counselors are sponsoring a Red Ribbon Poetry Contest based on this year's theme. Your future is key, so stay drug free. Poems are due to the counselors on or before October 31st. See Miss Chin or Miss Kersitz for more details. Drugs and alcohol can cause problems in school. Keeping up with homework, assignments, and studying for tests are hard enough. Mixing in drugs and alcohol makes being successful in school even more difficult. Experimenting with drugs and alcohol can lead to addiction. This, the Center of Addiction and Substance Abuse reports that 90% of all addictions began taking drugs, drinking alcohol, or smoking as a teen. Drugs can cause problems with your physical and mental health. Drugs can cause health problems like liver and kidney failure, irregular heart rate, seizures, comas, and memory loss. Remember that your future is key, so stay drug free. Now to DSMS happenings. Ross, what are you guys doing in class today? Reviewing our Latin root sheet. <laughs> <laughs> That's all for today. And remember to stay classy, dear.